everybody, this is Tina with Two Chicks and a Cricket, and this is the second week for our Cricut Cartridge Adventure series, and today um, I'm going to be showing you a really simple project using one of the cartridges. We're going to be making bug head, our little Cricut bug head. So the instructions on how to make this bug head will be at the very bottom of the blog. So here we are, you can see my binder. And this is the backs of the boxes that I print out. These are all the cartridges that I own. So then right behind George and Basic Shapes is where I keep the instructions on how to make this, bu this little bug head. Because that's the cartridge we're going to be using. So let's come back over here to the Cricut. And we are going to um, just talk really quick about um, this particular cartridge. Now this Georgian Basic Shape cartridge you um, get with a baby bug. So it comes with a um, smaller Cricut. I got that. That's the first cartridge that I got was the baby bug. And I sold that one because I had um, upgraded to the Create and then I upgraded to the Expression. So your cartridge comes in the box. Okay, you get your cartridge and we're going to pop that into our machine while our machine is off and we're going to turn it on and then we have this overlay and we're going to be using these a lot of these special um, features that come with your cartridge so when you open your book up and you um, go over to your um, if you guys can see that that's better so when you are looking at your handbook there's each of these different spots is going to tell you what what the special feature does so there's a sign special feature when you have this button pushed it is going to create this uh, whatever it is like this is the number one so it's going to create this number one and this feature which is a sign feature this is an oval a slotted oval so this is the charm feature so to create this bug head we are going to use um, a lot of these special features. Okay, so we're back. My paper is loaded into my Cricut. I have just two colors. You can do this bug head in any color. I have um, some um, teal ones up on my wall, um, but I'm going to do a purple one. And so I have the purple color and the white color. Now, when I did my instructions, I just took and wrote right by each of the items if I was supposed to cut it in color or if I needed to cut it in white. And so I'm going to cut all of the colored items at once. So the first item is the head of the bug and that's at four inches so I'm going to go ahead and change my um, height to four inches and then I'm gonna go ahead and push my shift lock right here because that means I'm gonna cut all the items that are in gray which are the shapes because I'm not cutting any of the letters today so I'm gonna make sure all my feature buttons are off to start with because I just need a four inch oval and I'm gonna cut that you can see right on my screen it pops right up and I know that that's what I need so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that The next shape I need is I need two um, circles cut with shadow, cut with my shadow feature. So most cartridges have the shadow feature on them as one of the special features. So I'm going to go ahead and hit shadow feature. I'm going to drop this down to two inches and I'm going to cut two circles. It'll pop up circle. You can always double check right on your screen. So that's going to cut. And then the very next thing that I'm going to need in color is I'm going to need the um, smaller part of the eyeball. And we're going to use our sign feature. Now this is a great cartridge um, to have because when you um, cut any of the items using your sign feature, it's going to cut that image even smaller than your dial size because it's in proportionate to this entire sign. So that's the other thing you want to recognize when you get your cartridges. There's a real dial size um, button and that's because all of the items are proportionate to one image on the cartridge. 
Now, you can usually look in your handbook, and like this uh, handbook, this cartridge, all the images are um, in proportionate to this G. So, it will, if you want exactly two inches or exactly four inches, you need to push your real dial size. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit my sign feature, and I'm going to cut the insides of my eyeballs. Um, using my sign feature at one inch and I'm going to need two circles so I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I'm going to use the same feature, I'm going to put it up to one and a half and I'm going to do my, I'm going to hit repeat last because I need two of that exact same thing just a little bit larger. So we're going to hit repeat last, it's going to pop up the circle with the sign and I'm going to cut that. So now for my um, feelers, I'm going to need a circle silhouette and an over oval silhouette at four inches. And I actually, um, I'm going to cheat a little bit so I can save paper and I'm just going to use um, a silhouette of a circle and I'm going to do both feelers. So this is the silhouette button so you're going to hit the silhouette button I'm changed to four inches and I'm going to hit a circle because I think I can make it work. And I'm going to cut that. Next we're going to cut all of our white pieces and then we're going to put this together. So I moved my blade, I moved it down to my white and now I'm going to cut um, on silhouette still, I'm going to cut a moon shape at two inches. I need to take my silhouette feature off, and I need two circles in white. And that's all I need in white. So I'm going to um, unload my paper and I'm going to be right back and we're going to put this bug head together. Hi everybody, I'm back and we're going to put together this little bug head. So I have all the pieces on my Cricut mat and we're just going to take them off. Okay, so I have all my pieces and um, we're going to put this together. So here's the head, and then here's the eyeballs, and let's just like remind us what it looks like. Here's the picture that I'm looking at. So I'm just using some quick dry glue, and I'm just going to place them on here and kind of move them around a little bit. And then these are the insides of the eyeballs. And then these that we used over here for when we used the sign feature, these are going to be the insides of the eyeballs. So we'll put a little glue. Right there, now look at him. He's starting to um, look like a real cricket head. So then the instructions call for you to cut a silhouette of a circle and a silhouette of an oval, but I'm just going to make it work. I didn't have a lot of paper, so I'm just going to cut this in half. And this is going to be for his feelers. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to trim it down. So I'm going to stick it on here. Kind of. The oval, the purpose of the oval is because it kind of sticks up a little bit more. You don't have to manipulate it as much. But it doesn't have to be perfect, right? 
So I'm just sticking a little tape. That's going to be the easiest. And then I'm going to trim this a little bit. So I want this to stick up a little bit more than I do this one. So then the tops of the feelers are these were the other circles we cut using the silhouette feature. Dab of glue. That's going to cover up those snips I made. And, you know, my other ones I made using the, um, using the, the how it says on the instructions. Like I cut an oval and a circle. But for this one, I mean, I just didn't have enough paper to do that. I just used scraps. So then this is going to be the smile. So you're just going to snip. This is the silhouette moon feature we did. And we're just snipping it. Adding a little bit of glue. And that's going to be his mouth. The eyes probably needed to go up a little bit more, but uh, you guys get the idea. So there's your little bug head using your George cartridge. And try it out and let us know. Post a picture or something. Send us a picture of um, the bug head you made and what you did with it. I'm going to hang mine up in my room somewhere. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. This is the second week of um, our cartridge exploration. And we're going to get into some more fun projects now that all the... Um, basics are kind of over you guys I kind of give you an idea of um, using it so tune back um, next week come back next week and um, we're gonna be using um, Animal Kingdom the cartridge Animal Kingdom in a fun um, Christmassy project so um, come back and check it out and um, we'll see you then thanks guys